how to create a registration form. So let's say we are continuing with the project we did before. We have created a login page. Then let's add a registration form. First of all, let's go to the tools and search for link link label. Okay. So let me drag out this link label. Okay. So I will come here and change the name. I'll say register here. So when they click on that uh, link, they should it should take us to another page. But let me increase the size. Go to font. Here we can change the font. We can make uh, the font size style. Let me make it bold and change the size to 12. That should be enough for me now. Okay. So we have this button. Once they click on this button, it should take us to another page. But before we click on this button, let's go and create another page. Okay, so right click on the name of the project, go to add, then window form. So on this now, we're going to be having a registration uh, Form. So let's say regi registration, registration, okay, so that should be okay for me. So it's going to create this page for me. Let me reduce the page for now. Okay, so before I work on this registration page, let me go back to this page. I'm going to double click on this. Then on this place, I will say new uh, registration, new registration, which is the name of that new uh, folder. Then create a function dot show. So we are asking the system to show the new page. Then hide the former one that I was. So this we do that. So that is all I need on this page. So let me just save it. Then, so whenever they click this now, it will take us to this page. And on this page, we need to create our, like, uh, what they need to fill now. First of all, let's go and select um, label. Label. So on this label, I'm changing, let me say, student ID, for example, student ID, then let me increase the size of this student ID, then make it 12, then make it bold. So this uh, is what I'm going to be copying. Okay, so I can change the background color. Background color. Let me make it. Uh, let me let me give it another color. Um, I prefer blue. And the font color. The font color. I make it white. Okay, so it will come out like that. So let me copy and paste. So this one is going to be student name. Go to the test. Change it to student name. Then we have another one. Let's say address, for example. Okay, another one. Let's see gender. Gender. Okay, so let us take one more and say state of origin, for example. States of origin. Okay, so we're going to be having all of this. So we're going to be using different widget for all of this. 
first of all we are using text box text box i'm going to expand it okay then i will change the name here to student id so that when i'm relating with it over there i'll know what i'm talking about so it will be tst student id okay so i'm going to copy the same thing and paste this will be for student name tst student name please one word no space okay so the same thing is applicable to address tst address so on gender we're going to be using something different we're going to be using radio button so let's go and search for radio radio button so this is what we're going to be using for this to show whether it's a male or female so here i will say rodb male and on the name i'll change this retro button to male okay so we have male there so i'm going to copy it and use it for female so if you're a male you choose your male if you're a female you choose you are a female so the radio button here arrow d b female okay so that we do then the state of origin we're going to be using combo box combo combo box okay so we just drag it and put it here so this will be a drop down button so on this small place click on it and then edit items so let's say the state let's say lagos state uh, or your state delta state Abuja uh, uh, and uh, let's use uh, River States. Okay, so that should be enough for now. So that we have populated this now. So whenever they click, they will see the drop down button. Then we have button now. We need button. Boxing. We need um, let's use clear button. Then let's copy this and paste. So let's use submit button. Submits. You can also apply background color if you like. Background color on this, let me use blue and then the font color, font color. This is the font color, change it to white. Okay, so you can see that the button is different now. So we have created the, the GUI of it. So what we need to do now is to start sending our information. We have student ID, student name, address, gender, and state of origin. We have about five of them. So we double click. No, let's just double click on the page. It takes us to the back end. So on this place, we need to declare our variable. The first one is int. We're going to be passing numbers. Int student ID. Then 
strange, strange student name, strange. We have address. Okay. The fourth one we have a strange or let's use boolean no, let's just use strange strange gender then strange strange um, state of origin okay so we have five of them one two three four five okay so let's go back to the page so we have the page then we'll come back to um let's do the clear first so we'll click on that we're going to be saying uh <coughs> the tst id dot test assign uh nothing okay so what we are saying here is uh, the this have to clear it because there's nothing on the strange so we have we're going to say also tst student name dot test assign nothing then we have our tst uh, address dot test assign uh, nothing then we have rdp mail dot test assign nothing rdp dot female RDB female dot test assign nothing and the last one is combo box I'm not sure we, we didn't change the name dot test dot test assign nothing so we are clear with this button so whenever they they populate this once we click on clear, it will wipe off all the information that is there. So now, let's move to the submit button. So on this submit button, we have some variables we have declared here before, which is student ID, student name. So here, we're going to say student ID assign um, convert. We're going to be converting the the numbers to uh, to in thirty two to in thirty two. Then we open a parenthesis and then say tst id dot test. Okay. So that should be able to pick that. Then we have student name assign TST. So for very for strange, we don't need to convert anything. Okay. Dot test. Okay. Then we have address, right? Address assign TST address dot test okay so we have gender okay gender um, let me just pass it straight like this because there are other ways we can write gender that if uh, the gender is male so we have to pick male if uh, it is female we need to also pick female okay so we need to write it that way so that we can be able to pick what is there. But let me just pass it straight if we can accept RDB dot test. Okay. So 
but that's a better way to write it. We're going to be learning that later. So also we have a state, state of origin. Let me say dot. I uh, mean, assign um, combo box dot. So we are going to be uh, learning more, but nowadays, once they are finished filling this, uh, we are going to be learning how to pass into database. But for now, uh, let's say if they are finished filling, let's say new, then pass us to a new page. New page, we are going to. It should pass us to welcome page. We say welcome page dot dot show no welcome page function dot show okay so this will take us to the function page and then we hide okay so that is what we're going to see okay so let's just run this and see what it's going to give us. Okay, so it's coming up now. A page will be ready in a few seconds. Okay, so this is our page. Now we can sign in. It will take us to welcome page. But here, we want to click on the link here so we click on this it brings us to this page so here we can fill in this one as to accept number this is let's say we fill in john for example here we also that's it 23 cold cold, cold streets streets lagos Okay, we select mail. This, we click here, you see the combo box now. Just select a state and to populate it. Then we click on this, it will take us to, uh, let's click on it now. It brings us here, can you see, welcome on board. So this is where it brings us. Okay, we can also claim the page, but it did not give us such opportunity because we already asked the system to shut down the other page. So it brings us to the welcome page. So if you get here, that means you have successfully created your registration form. But don't forget, all the content of that registration form, we are supposed to submit it to the database. But we are going to be learning that later. Thank you.